Hello my loves and welcome to another stove top uh, recipe vlog. Now this one, many moons ago, uh, we actually made in a, a, a Sunday live in the kitchen, a southwestern um, black bean soup. I'm going to be making a much smaller version today because I've got some black beans left from uh, the other day. I've got just this much, so I haven't got many black beans at all. Um, if you haven't seen the recipes that I made with the rest of the black beans that I did in the Instant Pot a couple of days ago. By the way, Instant Pots are just amazing for cooking beans. No soaking, none of that malarkey. Uh, there are charts out there on the internet you can get hold of. We've got one in that vegan group on Facebook that somebody kindly shared. Um, they tell you the times. Uh, black beans I do in the Instant Pot for uh, 23 minutes and they turn out perfect anyway so the other black bean recipes the I did the other day were two different kinds of beans might as well get this pan on I'll get this pan on and get a bit of oil in there because uh, we can start in a second so I did two different kinds of beans I did my um, friend Leanne's recipe for refried beans absolutely beautiful uh, we had them in wraps with tofu scramble and some vegan cheese pan uh, pan roasted pan toasted wraps with a bit of salad here's a picture quick picture that's what i did with the refried beans and then the night before that we had a mexican style burrito bowl with these saucy black beans that i did i'll uh, whack the picture up there now of that lovely um, so black beans are like really really versatile we've also got a black bean burgers recipe on the channel I'll link that up there now uh, and we've got a fabulous recipe from Hench Herbivore's cookbook uh, which is um, a Caribbean pineapple and black bean stew uh, which I vlogged and I'll link the vlog of that up there now as well um, so right I'm starting this off with very simply a chopped white onion and a chopped medium sized carrot. That will be your hand. And as always, we just want to soften these vegetables and get them a tiny little bit translucent, particularly the onion. Um, the carrot will take a bit longer, obviously, to cook. Oh, that one didn't slice too well. So, we shall leave that cooking for a short while. Whilst that's happening, I'm going to open this tin of tomatoes, 20 odd p from uh, Sainsbury's. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use half the tin directly in the soup for a bit of texture. But I'm going to use the Nutribully, I'm going to put half of the tin and their contents in the Nutribully, like so. I'm going to put a handful of the black beans that I've got left in there, like so. And then I'm going to top the rest up with some stock that I made earlier. So I've just made 500 millilitres of stock. Just a little bit. So you could do with this with a jug blender um, or a, a hand blender in a jug. I'm just going to use the neutral legs. So that's what we end up with, this kind of colour liquid. I'm not going to pop that in just yet, I'm just going to give them another minute or two to soften. You have to let me know below by the way, do you like these real time 
recipe vlogs where it's you know there's no editing really I'm, I'm cooking this in real time to show you what you can do too uh, let me know below if you like these uh, or you would prefer a different kind of format would really appreciate it just give that a bit of a tilt there we go right now the other half of the tin of chopped tomatoes straight in there that's for a bit of texture we want we want some actual tomato texture in there and now we'll add what we've just blitzed up which is the mix of the tomatoes Half a tin of the tomatoes, some of the black beans, and just a little bit of the vegetable stock. So that's nice and thick now, but what I want to do now is I want to thin it down a little bit with a little bit more of this stock now i'm using a vegan chicken stock here from oxo only because i've got no vegetable ones left if i had vegetable um i would be using them but i wanted to make this soup today because like i said i didn't have a lot of black beans left but i had some and uh, so there you go now these bits are optional I'm going to put some crushed crushed chilies in there. You don't have to put chilli in there if you don't want to. Uh, Jason and I really like chilli. Smoked paprika, however, I would say is an essential ingredient. So just a good sprinkling of that. I'm also going to put a fresh one into there. If you don't know, by the way, when we buy fresh finger chilies, uh, we keep them in the freezer because they're much easier to uh, store, they last ages, and then you can just cut them with a pair of scissors into whatever you're uh, making with them. Just one long green chili. Now this soup, very typically for us, <laughs> will be poured over chips, but it would just be absolutely perfect as well, just in a bowl. Just in a bowl with a chunk of bread. Turn that down a little bit now. I'm going to add the rest of the black beans. I would normally add a lot more black beans than this, I really would. Um, and I'd use a lot more initially to blitz as well. But this is one of those vlogs where it's about giving you the initial idea. It doesn't have to look exactly like it would when we did a normal, uh, you know, southwestern black, black bean style soup. For a bit more texture in there as well, and because it's classic, it classically comes with black beans. I'm going to put a bit of sweet corn in there, straight from the freezer. Just a nice bag of frozen sweet corn. Get a few bits in there. taste before I add any seasonings like uh, salt and pepper just a tiny a tiny smirch mm -hmm. yeah salt and pepper definitely needed just like with most things really
Himalayan pink salt. Don't have to be. Just telling you what I was using. And pretty much, that's it. You just cook it down now until it's ready for you. I did 500 mil of stock. So what I could do is keep letting this really thicken and then add in a bit more stock, but I don't want to do it. I'm just going to add that much more. That's all. Because it will thicken up again when I warm it up later for our uh, dinner. And I'll probably keep it on simmer now. For about half an hour, then I'll turn it off, let it thicken, and uh, warm it again for dinner this evening. Um, so there you go, that's my take on Southwestern Black Bean Soup. Now, as I've said, uh, it, I would actually normally put a lot more black beans in there, but this was just about making a small enough portion that I could use the black beans I had. Uh, and we've done that, so it's full of nutrients, it's full of delicious flavours and textures just have another little taste now mmm oh yeah that's beautiful that's absolutely full of flavour I can taste the black beans I can taste the sweetness of the corn and the carrot I can definitely taste the tomato I can taste the smoked paprika um, for us personally to be honest Probably a little bit more smoked paprika. I do love that smoky flavour. Now, now you could add, you could add bell peppers. You could add pieces of courgette. You know, chopped slices of courgette. Uh, you could add pea. You, you can add whatever you want to it, really, can't you? This was just a way, as I said, of showing you how I'm going to use up a smaller amount than I would normally use of black beans, uh, and that would be with this delicious soup which will be served this very evening, poured over chips and uh, shall no doubt appear in um, one of our meals vlogs. All right, I'll get off. Let's let that simmer now, 30 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, Southwestern, <laughs> Southwestern black bean soup. I hope you, well, tomato and black bean soup. Um, I hope you're inspired to do some stuff yourself. See you again very soon. Till then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. <laughs> Bye, loves. <laughs>